we're going to go through some of the naming uh, procedures that Cisco uses for their iOS files. And this is something that has changed uh, relatively recently. So this is part of the CCNA uh, curriculum so that people know how the new system works. There are, to start, software families. And software families uh, are a code base that applies to a certain type of hardware. Within the families, there are different software releases, uh, such as you might have seen 12.3 or 12.4 or 15.0, 15.1, and, and so on. So the bug fixes and feature additions to the software releases are called iOS trains. Uh, within the trains, uh, there may be two or more trains for uh, software families. So, if you, for example, if you had like 12.4, you might have uh, two different trains, which would be a mainline and a tech. And sometimes there's more. So, the mainline is uh, your base code, and it receives bug fixes. The technology train there includes the bug fixes plus new technology, new uh, features. So for example with 12.4 you'd have 12.4 for the main line and then 12.4 T for the technology. Those numbers uh, are composed of a couple different pieces. So you have a train number you have a maintenance number there's a rebuild number and that's usually what you'll see but sometimes there's some other stuff as well uh, especially with the older firmware versions so for example you'd have something like 12.4 21A uh, so here's your train, your maintenance, and your rebuild number so before version 15, which is their new uh, fancy type of firmware that they're now using, there were different packages. And you had to determine what package you wanted to put onto your device based on what features you wanted. So there were ones such as IP base, which was real basic functionality, uh, your entry level package. There was uh, IP voice, obviously if you want voice over IP. Uh, there was an advanced security. So if you need things like uh, VPN, uh, IPsec, uh, intrusion prevention, firewall type functionality. Uh, there's also a service provider. So if you needed uh, functionality like ATM, MPLS, uh, things like that. And then there was an enterprise base which uh, had other things like Apple Talk and IPX and such so to replace this uh, multi package methodology they came out with fit version 15 and so version 15 is the new and improved release system so it includes uh, a lot of enhancements so things are more consolidated, its licensing is theoretically easier it's easier to determine what you need there's there's less uh, there's less uh, packages out there because they encompass more features into one package and then you enable certain licenses uh, within that package So with version 15, there's a new release system. So the T-trains that we were talking about are available two to three times per year. There are also extended maintenance, EM. There's extended maintenance releases every 16 to 20 months. 
So these are very long term. And uh, the EM releases include uh, pretty much all of the bug fixes and uh, T features. So the way this essentially works is the T releases are for uh, like standard maintenance schedule. So uh, if you upgrade your routers a couple times per year, if you have uh, some sort of maintenance schedule for that, that's where you would use the T. Uh, or if you have a very long-term maintenance schedule, uh, you don't have many outages you're allowed to have, you would go with the extended maintenance package. So you can't go wrong with either. It's just what time frame do you want to work within. Beyond the version number, such as 12.4 T21A type uh, type numbering system, there's other pieces to that image name that you've probably seen, uh, such as when I've been pulling up GNS, you've seen some of that uh, iOS name that's been in there. So other parts of that iOS name are uh, the image name itself, so uh, what feature set you have. So the image name being, you know, what, what kind of device is it for, feature set is IP base, uh, enterprise base, uh, advanced security, so on. Uh, the run location, there's a code for where it runs and what kind of compression there's involved in it. And then of course you have the uh, train number the uh, release number, train identifier, and such. And then finally you have uh, the file extension. So that was all for 12.4 and below. As, as for uh, 15, with uh, the new methodology that they have, we have an image name There's a uh, image description, or a designation, I mean. There's a run location again. With the uh, compression designator. There's a Cisco uh, signature. And there's a major release, uh, minor release, uh, maintenance number, similar idea to the previous methodology, uh, rebuild number, etc. And then finally you have the file extension as well. So they're, they're pretty similar. They just included a few extra little things in there like the uh, Cisco signature and that. So. With this 15.0 methodology, they included uh, a whole new licensing scheme. So the idea is that there's one version, one file that you put onto your devices, and then you unlock certain features with 15. So what we'll go into now is uh, what kind, how that licensing works uh, with the next video.